What's the future for uranium? Do you think there is a, a big future for uranium? I think there's a great future for uranium. I don't buy it in my gold fund. We buy it in our general equity funds. Um, and as we've mentioned before, um, commodities are incredibly cyclical. I happen to believe that uranium is at the absolute bottom of its price cycle. Um, does that mean it's going to turn next month, six months, a year from now? I'm not sure. But I'm reasonably confident that we are at the bottom for uranium and that the future demand curve for uranium is strong and high. It's interesting because some countries have turned away from uranium. Do you think they're going to start to, they're going to have to um, start to embrace that and, and, and go down the, uh, the nuclear power route again? Not necessarily. I mean, Germany is one of the more famous countries that has turned away from uranium or, or, or is trying very hard to reduce their, their the percentage of their energy that comes from nuclear. Um, and that's Germany's choice. But that is more than made up for by the other countries, especially the developing countries in the world that are actively pursuing a nuclear policy because they believe, and correctly, that it is the most efficient form of energy on the planet. Um, China's got about 125 reactors planned or in planned all the way up to in construction. Um, every country in Africa is trying to find a way to get themselves some reactors. The Middle East, Asia, uh, uranium, and the nuclear industry. It is the most efficient form of energy. And, and the, the pragmatist in me believes that being not only the most efficient, but the greenest form of energy in terms of carbon emissions means that eventually more reactors will be built and the uranium fuel will be required to feed those reactors. So what companies would you be uh, particularly interested in right now or would you like to mention to our, our viewers as um, um, investable? On the large cap side, Cameco, a Canadian company, the largest Canadian supplier, is a great, um, is a great stock right now, um, and we're invested in it. And Barclay on the smaller side, which is a developer that's building a mine right now in Spain um, at a very low cost level, is also a great investment. What both of these companies have in common is, it, is that they're in the bottom quartile of the cost curve. Um, and when you're in a bear market, like uranium is right now, um, you buy at the bottom, you want to buy the bottom of the cost curve because if, whether it takes six months, a year, or two years for this bear market to end, those companies are still going to make money. Um, and when the uranium price goes up, those companies will just make more money. So the bottom quartile of the cost curve is the safest place to be in, in a bear market. So um, coming back to, to Barclay, is there much uranium in Spain? I don't think so. Um, the area in and around the Barclay site has something called black shale, which is a very unique um, geological uh, positing of uranium that came through liquids millions of years ago. Um, and it's, it's a unique geological anomaly that has relatively high grade for the kind of extraction techniques being used, um, uranium. Um, and it's a geological anomaly. Um, normally, uranium is, is found in different kinds of deposits. Uh, the Athabasca Basin in Canada, um, Kazakhstan has a, has a lot of uranium, but this is a small geological anomaly that, that's amenable to shallow, high-quality, extractable uranium that happens to be in Spain.